Hey guys, it's Cover Farty back for another exciting episode of Oracle of Ages. Hopefully exciting. Do -do 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 -do. What else can I do but try to make it exciting? And hey, we can jump over this pit now. Let's see what's up here. It's Maple! It's a rain, and it's right next to me! Ouch! Watch where you're walking! I came through this weird tunnel, and then I was flying happily along. What are you doing here anyway? Well, I'm taking your stuff too. No, you're not. You can take some of my stuff, but not all of it. Ah, you little, I'll remember this! So you all know there were those four rocks and they were all protecting one little plot? Well, gash a plot. Do 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 do. What's in here? Piece of heart. If you've got the power bracelet and a rock's feather, you can get to it. We need rock's feather now. We need rock's feather now. We need rock's feather now. Because we're awesome. My husband was sent to work at the Black Tower. I may never see him again. That stinks. Hey. How's it going? And if less I'm mistaken, one of my gasha trees must have grown by now. Yeah! Inside there was a rain. Sweet! And we'll plant another one. Where to go next? Oh, I know, we can go here. The advanced rain, I will take that. Doesn't actually do anything, but it's... I don't have it yet. So, okay. We're not going back to the present. Nope. Instead, what we want to do is go to the next area. So, it said it was in an island to the southeast. Well, you'll remember there's that guy with the raft, so let's see if it's done. Hi, dude. It's Raftin. I am Raftin. My dream is to make fine rafts that can sail the seas. If I only had rope that wouldn't decay in water, I could make my raft. I just can't find any. There's a fellow named Chevel on the east edge of town who is working on such rope, but I don't think he's done yet. Well, let's help him finish it. And maybe he'll give it to us for free. Probably not. I forgot to tell you my lucky secret to that guy who went to Holodrum. He's so unlucky. I just hope he doesn't meet with disaster and end up a bag of bones. Can you help me? Sure. The secret is... That. Did you memorize it? Uh, no, but I can always look at the video later. Thanks so much. Of course. This is arguably one of my least favorite renditions of the Zelda overworld theme, but... It's still not bad. I like the present day music a lot. This is him. I am Shovel. I'm researching items for use in water. Before I die, I want to finish my work on flippers for swimming and rope that won't decay in water. I hope to aid all the people of the world by inventing such things. Hope so. You remember this guy? Hey, Artie! Are you looking for something? Or what? Huh? Shovel rope? I know that name. Yeah, I've seen a grave in our own time that has that name on it. But I don't have time to chat. I'm busy. See ya! Okay, so people say... 
pretty much everyone who played this game is like, oh, Ralph was terrible. It's so annoying. It's like, yeah, he's got his annoying parts, but I didn't, like, hate him. I gotta see why people pick on him so much. He does help you out. How would you have progressed forward if you didn't know to go to the present time to look for the grave? Alright. Time to go back to the present. We've got rings to appraise, don't you know? It's Luigi! Let's appraise our rings. First up, blue luck green. Half damage from his beams. We've got that ever already, though. Next we have... The Zora ring. Dive without breathing. That's what the ring is. I didn't have that one? Next up, it's the red luck ring. Half damage from spike floors. I already have that, so 30 rupees. And then this one, it's the GBA time ring. Life advance. That's the what the ring is. That has no effect. It does not actually give you more health. I do still have the curse. Yeah, I've got the curse ring equipped. Good. Oh, that's right. Shovel. We gotta go back to the graveyard. A little bit of backtracking, but it's not too bad. We're also gonna need ember seeds, and I really need to get more mystery seeds. Oh, it's Moosh! <laughs> this guy's shocked! Let's shock him some more! Uh, 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 ghost! Help! Bree! Why is that weirdo here? What are you looking at? We'll shock you too! Not luckily. Little mini boss against free pose. They take a lot of hits to kill, especially got the curse rain, but they're not too bad. Especially since they're so slow. Oh my gosh, I just realized these guys have one eye. I thought they had two eyes. I thought they were basically booze. There you go. D don't eat me! I taste awful! The ghosts are all gone! Did you chase them away? Thank you! I am Moosh. Maybe I can help you out. Climb onto my back. Tap A to hover or hold it to charge up for a sound ground pound. But water is my weakness. The shallow stuff is one thing, but I can't take deep water, so be careful. So, this is one of the many animal buddies you get in the game. There are three animal buddies. This is the first one, Moosh. He's tough to use, but he's very helpful. He can fly over lots of pits in a row. I can float if you tap A. If you move as I float, I can float across pits. Try it. So you can't fly over water. He'll sink. But what you can do is fly over multiple pits in a row that Rox Fever couldn't take you over. All right, this is the shovel grave. Oh boy, shovel apparently buried some beetles with him. Let's see. Oh no, water, and it's like uh two inches deep. Link can't swim in it, so he has to jump. I shall entrust my invention only to one with both might and light feet, shovel. Well, let's get out our past power bracelet. Pull this all the way back. And just jump up here. And we get the Zora Flippers! Now we can swim, at last. I don't know why Link can't swim for a long time. It's not that hard to figure out. Also, Flippers aren't gonna help you swim, really. And if we go over here, we get the shovel rope. This sturdy rope won't rot when wet. Well, that's all you could really ask for in a rope. Oh no, not you. And that's the last we'll be seeing of Moosh. You found what you were looking for. I'm glad I could help. See you around. 
So, if you're playing a Link playthrough, you'll get automatically whichever pet you got in the previous game. So, I got Ricky in Oracle of Seasons, so I'll be getting Ricky again. Like it or not, I like it. Ricky's my favorite. That said, if you're playing Oracle of Ages, then uh, before Oracle of Seasons, you get to choose your pet. We'll get more into that a bit later. You don't get that until after the third dungeon, though. Alright. Looks like it's time to go back to the past! Now that we've got the rope, we can give it to Rafton. And hitch a ride on the seven seas. To America! I've heard one of the essences of time is in America. You've got to go there. You've heard of the Triforce of Courage, and the Triforce of Power, and the Triforce of Wisdom? Well, in America, we got the Triforce of Freedom. I'm coming, Rafton! Never fear. Hey, that's it! With that shovel rope, I could finish my raft! Let me have that rope, please! Sure. Thank you! Tell you what, you can be the first to ride my raft when it's done, but you'll need a chart if you want to go out to sea. Going without a chart is an invitation to disaster. I'll have the raft ready by the time you get the chart. By the way, you never actually use the chart. At all. Hey, dude. How's it going, Ralph? Ralph, it isn't already! Dawdling about as usual. What are you doing? Huh? You need an island chart? I've heard that weird guy has sea charts to the secret isle. Do what you want. I'm too busy trying to save Nehru to help you. See ya! Nehru! Okay, admittedly, he's a bit annoying there, but... He gets better. Plus, he looks cool. Alright. Never gash a plot there, but we don't have a seed to plant. Rats. Also, we cannot go in the ocean. For some reason, our flippers don't allow us to go in the ocean. Otherwise, I would just swim to the island. Believe me, it's not that far. Well, believe it or not, we actually have to go back to the future. The island chart is in the future. And we're about to meet the second animal buddy we'll meet in this game. My personal favorite. All we're gonna do is go over here. Yep, here he is! Ho! Artie! It's been a while! Usually I'd be happy to see you, but I'm not in such a good mood right now. You see, I lost my precious gloves! I think I left them by the tree on the beach, but I can't seem to find them. Yeah, that's Ricky. He's a kangaroo. In a Zelda game. Cool factor of like 20. And yep, Tingle's in this game. That's not as exciting. But, uh, here's the beach. So, let's shovel to find his gloves. Well, that was easy! We got Ricky's gloves! Take them to their owner. And their owner is not Bueno. Can I find a ton of rupees? Very occasionally you can dig up a blue rupee, which is worth, I think, 100 or 200 rupees. It's awesome. Hey, my gloves! You found them! Thanks! Now I'll help you find what you're looking for. Hop into my pocket! Press A to punch or build power to unleash a tornado. I can also jump small holes or cliffs. No other animal or item in the entire game lets you jump up cliffs. So yeah, Ricky's a boxing kangaroo. That's amazing. He can also literally punch tornadoes. Yeah, he's amazing. A cliff like that one is a leap. 
What? A cliff like that one is elite? I'll jump up if you can move up to it. Try it. Yeah, we can jump up cliffs! We're so awesome! If you move toward a hole, I'll just jump right over. I can clear one hole easy. Give it a try. Alright. Let's pop Tingle's balloon. What's this? Green clothes? Sir, are you smitten with forest fairies? My name is Tingle, the one and only. I'm a true fairy. No, you're not. The villagers say that at 35 I should open my eyes, but I say Tingle is the very reincarnation of a fairy. How do you like Tingle the fairy for a friend? <sighs> sure. But from today, you and Tingle are friends. Yes, yes, as a sign of our friendship, Tingle will give you his chart that shows the way to the secret island. It's an island chart. You can now navigate the seas. Come back here anytime you wish to see Tingle. If you get more mystical seeds, something good may happen. Tingle, Tingle, Kurulim, Pa! These are the magic words that Tingle had created me myself. Don't steal them. I wouldn't dream of it. I guess you found what you were after. This is just between you and me, but I can't stand this guy, so I'll see you later. Okay. Ricky, he's a kangaroo. He's a boxing expert. He can punch tornadoes. And he hates Tingle! How could you not love that? Well, I mean, if you're an American, you probably hate Tingle. He's not very popular in America. Alright. I think we've got just enough time for this episode to actually get to the island. Give me ember seeds or give me death. Hang on, what can we buy at the shop? Not a lot. Nothing that we don't already have. I don't know why everything's so orange in the past, but whatever. Also, the jumping slashes you can do are pretty awesome. I'm coming, Rafton! Never fear! Wasn't strictly necessary, but I got the island chart. Hey, what took you so long? My raft is ready. Come over here. Dude, I did it in a few minutes. Let's go sailing. boy. And out of absolutely nowhere! Oh no! A light breeze that you cannot clearly sail past. And monkeys are flying. We get struck by lightning and we're magically here somehow. And they stole all my items. That's where we're going to leave the episode off for today. Thanks for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. If you tune in for the next episode, we're going to get our items back. Have a great day, and God bless.